Welcome to another how-to video. In this episode, I am going to start a multi-part tutorial series on how to install a tortoise switch machine. I'm also going to cover how to wire it and how to wire a toggle switch. This is going to be a multi-part video. And this first part here is going to be how to wire the switch. Right here I have a double pole double throw switch. And we're going to wire it with a main bus wire for the power and then wires coming off of this to go to the switch machine. So what you're going to need in order to wire this is pretty simple. I'm just going to need a soldering iron, some solder, some flux, the double pole double throw switch here, two little pieces of insulation. I'm just having these off of a piece of standard gauge uh, solid core wire and two pieces of wire preferably different colors. So We'll go ahead and start on how to wire these up. So I'm going to start off here with preparing the two wires here. This is probably the simplest part of it. So we have these wires here. So you're going to go ahead and just start off by stripping off part of the end of the wire. You would uh, strip off a little bit more than a normal feeder wire or something like that, but that's probably a good amount. Because you're going to have to run it from one pole to the other lengthwise like this, or across. So it needs to be pretty long. I'm going to go ahead and twist the wire. And we're going to go ahead and pretend these. Let's get a little flux on there. Take our starting iron. Let's go ahead and tin this. And you're only going to do this for both of them. So I have both my wires tinned here. And the next thing we're going to do is it's helpful if you have something to stick your toggle switch in. So preferably you would have a clamp but I unfortunately do not. So what I'm going to have to do is just stick it here and it'll hold it in place while I work on it. So this is the most difficult part because you have to thread this through one, one hole across and through the other one. But you also have to put a piece of insulation in there. So you want to cut off a little piece. This is probably a little too long it'll have to fit in the middle there. You go ahead and put this through on one end, slip your piece of insulation over it, stick it in one end, go ahead and put your insulation on. There we go. And now you're going to have to thread this one through the other loop on the other side. And it looks like my piece of insulation is a little too long. Just cut off a little piece until you get a length that fits properly. There we go. And just thread it through there. Just like that. So you're going to take something, go ahead and solder both ends of this here to the wire to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. You want to be very careful not to heat it up too much or else you'll melt the contacts and the plastic in the throw. Nope, that should be good there. And now you're going to take your other wire and you're going to do it the opposite way, crosswise, so like that. You're going to need another piece of little insulation. This one's a little trickier because you have to go up and over, so I'll bend it a little bit. It allows me to work it around and get it over and through the hole a little bit easier. Got the piece of insulation on there. And 
you have to be patient with this because it can be a little tricky to uh, get it to all line up and get it in that hole there. There we go. Pretty easy there. Go ahead and take a little more flux. Solder those two pieces. There's one. And there's the other one. All right, so we got this all wired up. And then the two remaining poles there, those two will go to the track, or to the switch machine. And that is what will power that and change the direction of your switch when you flip the lever. So, the next part will be how to install the tortoise switch machine. And then I believe the third part will be how to wire these all together. So, if you have any suggestions, let me know. And uh, look out for the next part. Hope you enjoyed.